This is the Bay Show on 97.1. What's up? This is Sherry Cola of the Bay Show on 97.1 Amp Radio. I have Vice in the building. Oh, I'm here. He's in the flesh. I'm here. I'm in the Bay Show this before is anyone else. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you you are a witness to, to a legend right now. Oh. Um, these are not holograms, so believe what you see. <laughs> So I want to catch up with you because the last time I saw you was at Vice on Ice. That's right. That I was, was in downtown LA. Super dope event. I was DJing at an ice skating rink, which is definitely out of my element, but it's super fun. I did it for the kids. It was right around the holiday time, and I got to just do like kind of a family environment type of fun event. And yeah. you were there. I was there. It didn't go well for me. I swear I was just like... You got on the ice. Like in... A freeze mode in the <laughs> middle of the rink the whole time. I could not move. I, I don't didn't. Know if you saw me, but my skills on the on the rink. Are, he was are, flipping. I mean, Christy I'm, Yamaguchi, who? You know what I mean? Vice was. I was I was I was on fire. Yeah. A hundred percent. Spins and all that, backflips. Yeah, it was blades uh, blades of uh, glory, blades, blades of, of fury. What's it called? Something yeah. like that. Something like that. Yes. Um, no, I love that. Speaking of on fire though, yes. how about this? I'm pitching you an idea. Vice on spice. Ooh, okay, so spice. what this is? Okay, give me this. What this Break is? It it's like a mud run. But sriracha. <laughs> I mean, we're just can, brainstorming, can you baby. You die from that? Can't you die? <laughs> At least I you die sriracha. like on a high. You know what I mean? Last night, I had sriracha. sriracha so, oh my yeah. god, I almost wore my sriracha shirt, oh, but I had to do the Bruce Lee. Yeah. The Bruce Lee on the ones and twos. You ever had sriracha on tacos? It's all you can put on everything. Sriracha's good. Yeah, sriracha is. Taco, I had everything's good. I man. had a, a fake healthy meal last night. It was. Uh, grilled chicken with cauliflower rice so it's not real rice it's cauliflower but i put sriracha all over that and it was like oh sriracha all that is healthiness feeling exactly, like, exactly. yeah let me give this a spice just i just like to so squirt a little I'll bit do the run. <laughs> sriracha you know let me just snort that you know i'm kidding i'll do the sriracha run i'll do the sriracha sriracha run. we're yes. doing it we're spicy you need like goggles though that gets <laughs> yes, your exactly. eye forget it goggles a wetsuit um yeah. body suit full exactly. body suit Bubble i'm suit. down i'm down <laughs> vice on spice vice on stay tuned um Speaking of tacos yes, and all that good stuff. Let's go right into what the good stuff is. You know tacos. what I mean? Electric Taco is such a dope little series you have going. Thank you. So uh, tell them about it. I mean. So Electric Taco started because I got a Tesla, an electric car, and I, I love tacos. And I put the two together and I'm like, Electric Taco, let's go get some tacos. So I roll around. I pick up different friends of mine that I have met on the road in different ways. Everyone from a Travis Barker mm -hmm. to a Swaggy P of the Lakers to Paul Rodriguez, Nike skateboarder to Rick Fox, Laker legend. Dope, um, the list dope. goes on. Mm -hmm. Actors, uh, comedians. And I have so many more coming. And I just keep eating tacos. I love tacos. I'm born and raised in L.A. Yeah. I'm Mexican. I no, mean, I love that. It's in my blood. 100%. And... Okay, so you are, oh my God, I want to talk about food so badly with you because you, you know what's up. So what is your all-time, you know, favorite taco restaurant? Well, my favorite taco spot is in downtown LA. Mm -hmm. It's called La Reina. And Ooh, La well, Reina. It's, a, it's, it's a sad story though. Oh. Seriously. What happened story. to La Reina? So La Reina had the corner spot on 7th uh -huh. and Mateo and gentrification happened. She got wiped out. She got the boot. The rent went up. It's just too expensive for La Reina. So she got kicked out. And now she's in a truck on the street right outside. Back to the roots. Dude, she took it to, yeah. Now she's in the Roach Coach, little <laughs> taco truck right there. And it's it probably even better now. I haven't hit it as a taco truck yet, but she's still there. She's still standing strong. She's like, you can kick me out of my restaurant, but I'll just do a truck right here. That's Hell how they yeah. do it in LA. So she's still right there. Seventh and Mateo, that is my favorite spot. Seventh and Mateo, La Reina. La Reina, La Reina, taca, La Reina. La Reina tacos. Put it right there. There yes. you go. We're going after this. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, electric taco. I love that concept. I'm thinking about doing my own, like okay. maybe eco-friendly dumpling. Okay, eco-friendly dump. What would you roll around in, like? Some eco-friendly. Like a golf cart. Something eco. -friendly. Just <laughs> my, uh, two feet. Two. Feet. Two feet. Walk to every. Dumpling <laughs> exactly. Spot. I'm down with dumplings. Exactly. Though. Um, well, my question to you is, DJ is definitely your your passion, what you're meant to do and uh, produce, obviously. Right. And was there ever a plan B? Like, was there anything else that you would have wanted to do? Ice skate. I wanted to be a professional. That makes so I much sense. I wanted to be a hockey skater. I'm not sense. lying. Like when I was uh, before the age of 12 from like, I don't know, maybe like eight, nine, I was ice skating um, because my neighbor, uh, his uncle would, ran the hockey rink okay. in Pasadena and I would like get in for free. So I would ice skate, ice skate. And I started getting really good. And I started learning how to play hockey. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be a hockey player. This is great. I'll be <laughs> the first professional Mexican hockey player. Right. And then 
I saw turntables and I went this way. Greatest moment of my life was being like, maybe I shouldn't play hockey. Maybe that's I should so teach funny. Life changing. Yeah, life changing event right now. I would have no teeth. I'd be no, like, no. I was about to yeah, say that's my no biggest fear. No grill at all. No teeth. Fingers sliced. Finger like sliced, that's my yeah. biggest fear. Let's talk about obsession. My ta tacos. No. Oh, oh, oh my song. Yeah. No, I just, <laughs> I we thought can't my stop thinking ta about tacos. Okay, I swear sorry. to God. We I thought, my, I thought you were stop. asking what my obsession was. I was like tacos, and I was like, okay, got that it. That too, though. Got it. That okay. too. The song. Obsession. Yes. We yes. are so like we want tacos so badly right now. Tell me about your new song, Obsession. So Obsession is my newest song out. It's with John Bellion. And oh yes. It is. I, I can confidently say it's a smash. Like I'm super excited about this 100%. record. It's the summertime classic. Like it's gonna be. I, I know where it's going because I'm very big on visioning and seeing like yeah the road down ahead of me mm -hmm. and, and I know how big this record's going to be. Of course, we're stoked to play it on Bay Show and we love John Bellion. All Time Low yes. is a banger. Have you watched his acoustic versions of, of All Time Low on YouTube or search Yes, them? yes. He's, no, I'm he's like, that talented. I kind of man fanned out on him. I was like, I was already like a big no John shame. fan. I was like, no and I was shame. like watching video and I was like, well, I'm like two hours in on watching John <laughs> Bellion videos on YouTube. Just I got a black chill. hole of YouTube. I got to chill, yeah. Because <laughs> now so when funny. I'm on any other web page, John yeah. Bellion's picture is just going to keep popping up. Like, would you like to purchase John <laughs> Bellion? Like, no, get Meet away. and greet with John. How do John. I, suddenly you have a cardboard cutout of John <laughs> Bellion in your room. Like, how did I get here? Who are two other artists you'd love to hop on a track with that has not been done? So... One of the artists, this is a dope story, is, is that I've always said is my number one bucket list is Andre 3000, and I just met him like Money. last week. Money. For the first time. Like, I was in Vegas, and I was walking through, uh, it's called the Magic Convention, it's for clothing. Okay, it's yeah, like yeah. The yeah. Magic, uh, and I was walking, and I, I literally heard his voice like to the side of me, and I'm like, what the heck? And I turned, and it was Andre 3000. Oh my God. And he was with a friend of mine, so it gets even nice. better. And I'm like, dude, and he's like, I'm like, introduced me right away so i got to meet andre and i was like nice to meet you i'm a big fan i go you're my number one bucket list mc to be on a song i know our paths will cross and he was like blown away He's like that's really dope he's like so we connected and fingers are crossed yeah. that, that this might come to fruition fingers yeah. crossed toes crossed I'm that'll happen everything yeah. so he, he's number one uh if i'd have to go for a number two um i'd have to say I'm a big like Bob Marley fan as well. Okay. So like I want to take it back. Like if I sure. could have anyone yeah. in life, I, it'd be dope to just be like in a session with Bob. That I don't even need, I just want to be in a session with him and listen yeah. to like a Bob Marley record. Just be to made. be able to be in the same. I'm down. Just presence. that vibe. Yeah. yeah I might not sure. be there mentally because I don't know what they're smoking around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that would be a dope one. That'd we don't, dope. we don't smoke um, <laughs> anything but salmon. Salmon. Love, a, salmon. love, a, love lox. Love a great <laughs> lox bagel. What's one thing you would, you know, advise young DJs who are trying to do their thing? I think now more than ever, because it constantly is changing, is to really just know your brand first. Like, okay. everyone has access to music. Everyone can be a DJ right now. Everyone can just open their laptop and start rocking. But it's like, really know who you are mm -hmm. as a person and, and how you want people to recognize you as a DJ. So you got the name Vice when you were looking through a dictionary, okay? Yeah. And he saw Vice. You were young. You were a kid. Super young. Um, and the definition was bad habit. That's what I saw. Like, and yeah, you liked it. I liked it. What's one of your bad habits? Uh, I see. I think my bad habit would be um, 1942. It's a uh, tequila. Okay. Julio. That'd probably wow. be my bad habit. All right, I let's bring out back let's, smiling. Let's bring out some 1942 <laughs> tequila. Here we go. <laughs> let's just black out uh, right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I, I think just... that that'd probably be my bad habit. If cool. anything, okay. I try. I, I don't try blame to, you. Because tacos yeah. aren't a bad habit. It, that's not. That's like a, that's a healthy. plus. Yeah. Yeah, that's good for you. 100%. Yeah. But then if you put the tacos together with the tequila, mm. then it's like balance. Balance in exactly. life. I'm all about it's balance. balance. I'm that's very what I'm zen. Saying. I'm a very zen person. That's what I'm saying. Well, speaking of balance, this is actually something I'm curious about. How do you balance? Because you have the most adorable I sw the most adorable daughter Anahi <laughs> Anahi Anahi yeah Anahi 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 um, there you go you got it Anahi. I, I, I had to learn how to pronounce yeah. it too it's tough. <laughs> you're still you're still, I'm a still working on it yeah. Anahi Anahi you and got it. A gorgeous wife as well Thank and you're you. doing the obviously like music industry life and you Traveling. have crossover your yeah. sneaker boutique how do you balance um it's all about that when I am in family mode I'm in family mode okay like I've learned how to I not learn. I'm still always working on learning how to just like disconnect. And uh -huh. like, all right, I'm on family mode right now. And if I'm going to play with my daughter for an hour, it's like phone down, like just play for an hour. If you ever got arrested. I have. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's over here pranking me like um, we're just pranking each other. If you ever got arrested, what would the reason be? Oh, it'd be skinny dipping. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I just throw okay. something random out of it. Yeah, that would that's be, another yeah, sure. event. Sure, yeah. Cool. A skinny dipping yeah. DJ event. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd get arrested. Honestly, if I got arrested for anything, it'd be um, reckless driving because ah. I probably scared my manager on so, the way here. I kind of like. He's here. I, He's here. You first, guys made it. My first car I ever had was a VW Bug, mm -hmm. and it's like a go kart. Oh, if you ever drove yeah. a VW Bug, it's like a go kart. Uh -huh. It feels like a go kart. So now every car I've got on the way, I still think in my mind I'm driving a VW. Mm -hmm. So I'm driving it like cutting corners and, and I kind of drive a little reckless sometimes. And I'm not like, but I, I'm like, I think I'm an indie car race driver in my past life. So I'm good. I've never hockey player, wanna, race car driver, no accidents. Yeah, We're good. You, you got it. You got no it. Accidents. <laughs> so if you could remix a theme song. Like a sitcom or a cartoon theme song, Ooh, which one would it be? Is, you should, by the way. After you say this answer, you yeah, gotta do it. Yeah. Wow. Um, theme song of a show. Well, I'd probably go with um, Game of Thrones because that's the only show I've ever been obsessed about. Like intense, I think, intense. Yeah, and it's because I've I've only felt like a nerd once in a sense of like a TV show. Uh huh. I started like looking at family timelines of the of the characters and maps. And then I started watching conspiracy theories on the show. And I was like, whoa, like once again, I was like, like the John Bellion moment where I was yeah. watching too much stuff <laughs> on YouTube. It was Game of Thrones. So it's I went so heavy in there, so I would do Game of Thrones. Yeah, but it w I would like trap that sh yeah, dish no, out. That, yeah, no, that would I'd be go hard. Like, lit. We need it, yeah. <laughs> it's Game coming back when, when the new season comes back, so I have some time to work on it. Vice remix Game of Thrones. <laughs> I love it. Um, can you do any accents or impressions? Accents or, oh, I really can't. Um, I <laughs> Dang, this is I a good like one, I feel no, like you have I, one. I feel like you have one, but you don't want to do it. I really don't. Um, you don't want to do it. No, I really don't. I don't have any accents. That's so I, funny. I can't even do, like, a, a, a really good, like, Mexican accent because I don't really even speak Spanish. You, you don't speak Spanish? No. No, Holmes, I don't speak Spanish. Hey, not even do a you? little bit. Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Maybe cut that out. Maybe cut that out. bit. Like a little, 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 like a little, little, like a little, little bit, or like a little <laughs> bit. All right, okay. Tilt your hat down too, like a little, little, or a little bit. There you go. Hey, vice. Okay, that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. We're going too deep. We're going too deep. Too deep. Too deep. <laughs> we got it all. Perfect. Thank you so much for being Are here. Are you gonna join me in Vegas next? A thousand percent. We're we tell them tell them about some so the shows. So I'm a re resident DJ at Marquee Las Vegas. Uh, I play there almost every weekend. I'm bouncing back and forth. So come see me in Vegas, uh, and that's kind of like the place that it goes down. Like, it does. You'll see a real Vice show. It's called Vice Airwaves Live at Ooh, Marquee. I love that. Boom. There it is. And check out his new track Obsession, yes. featuring John Bellion, and of course we'll be playing that on Bay Show. Bay. And yeah, wait. Plug your socials. Plug your uh, socials. At DJ Vice. That's everything. It's literally Snapchat. It's Instagram, it's Twitter, it's YouTube, D J V I C. Oh, yeah, we're throwing. I know. <laughs> like, that's not, mode, you're repping, <laughs> repping. They let's at DJ Vice. Blur that out on the big <laughs> show all day. You know it. That's what's up. Thank you so much. I'm Sherry Cola Vice. We love you.